It's hard to work for something you don't know will even happen, but that's what high school football teams are doing right now. News 13's Emma Stamps has more from the Freeport Bulldogs as they continue to work in rotation groups of 10 or less that include a coach. The Freeport Bulldogs getting used to the requirements put in place by the Walton County School District to keep players and coaches safe amid the pandemic. When you build a practice schedule, you don't build in five to ten minutes of sanitizing and cleaning and, and uh, them getting their own water bottles and carrying their bags around. So there's been some adjustments. The head coach isn't focusing on the unknown of the virus and how it's affecting his team's workouts. He's just happy the players can be together. I want to give them a place where they can come, a place where they can feel like they're being productive, uh, a place where they feel comfortable and a place where they feel like they can be themselves. The Bulldogs ready to get to work as a team after holding each other accountable when they couldn't be together in person. We text to each other, ask each other questions, keep up with each other, make sure we're okay, make sure we're doing work on the side. You don't have equipment, try to do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups a day, and push yourself to run a mile or do something out in the heat. And the athletes at home workouts already evident as even new players on the team and those who transferred to play at Freeport have quickly gotten up to speed. It baffles me. Like, it's... They're running outside, not getting tired. Their football IQ is just through the roof. Whenever a coach asks them questions, they know what's going on. They know some plays that I wouldn't expect them to know by now. The coaching staff and team leaders confident the group's determination will pay off no matter when the season begins. That's what's going to bring us together to work because you put in hard work because on come on game night, you're going to be you're going to play hard fourth quarter all throughout the four quarters. We're going to play hard. Reporting in Walton County, Emma Stamps, News 13 Sports, Panhandle Strong.